I feel like I look ridiculous. <laughs> you like the new look? <laughs> I figured with uh, the Loretta's National coming up, I'm going to buzz my head. So I thought I'd have a fun haircut for like a week. So I did a mullet, and you can't have a mullet without a mustache, so I got, I got both. And speaking of Loretta's, as of recording this, today was the last day of the 2020 Loretta's. And with the Loretta's National coming up, I figured this is the perfect time to have a story time of my first experience at Loretta's. Well, I say my first experience, but 2010, the first year that I actually raced Loretta's, it was not my first experience. Uh, I have an older brother. He is eight years older than me. And between the two of us, he was the faster brother. And so I say that 2010 was my first experience. It was my first experience racing because he had gone to Loretta's in 95, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, and 2008. And maybe besides those first two, I went to all of those. So I had been to Loretta's before. I had experienced everything about it, except for the actual racing part. And don't get me wrong, I tried. I tried a lot to qualify. I got close a couple years on like a 50 and an 80, but it just never happened for me. So I've said in previous videos that I think it was around 2008, I kind of quit racing. Everybody in my family was getting hurt, including me, and it was just kind of, I was over it. And in 2009, I started riding again. And so, in 2010, we thought, I mean, I've never gone to Loretta's before, so I can try to qualify in the C-Class. I don't know if that's how C-Class eligibility actually works, but I feel if you've never gone to Loretta's, then you're allowed to go in the C-Class. Uh, in March of 2010, I did a local race. It was the first race I had done in a couple years, and the first moto, I beat everybody by like half a lap, and then the second moto, I got taken out in the second corner, and I broke my thumb. It went like this. I, th I think I went into the ground, and it did that motion. The ligament was strong, bone wasn't. The ligament just pulled my bone out. It was really stupid. So I was in a cast for six weeks, which meant that by the time the area came around, I wasn't out of a cast for very long. So I did the area. It was at Thunder Valley. It was a local one. I don't remember it that much, but I don't think I did that well. I, I, I qualified. I qualified for the regional. And the regional was at Competitive Edge in California. So with going there, not doing the best in the area, I was a little nervous. I was like, man, I don't actually know if I'm going to qualify. Can I not even qualify in the C-Class? And then practice went, and there was a few dudes faster than me, and I was like, oh boy, here we go. But then I had my first moto, I got the whole shot, and I kind of killed everybody. <laughs> I had a big enough lead where I was actually able to fall on like the last lap, and still win. So at that point I was like, whoa, I can do this. And then I ended up getting the overall in the stock class and I was like, holy crap, I'm going to Loretta's. After pretty much a decade of going to Loretta's and never racing myself, always going there to watch my older brother, I finally qualified. It was a really cool moment. And uh, then the next day was the 250C mod class, and I rode it on a stock bike, and I think I got like third. Actually, I know I got third because I'm looking at the trophy right there. Let me go get it. See? Third. And I have a first place one up there. I don't really feel like going to get. Yeah, this is the third place plaque for the regional. And it's kind of funny. Uh, Racer X made a video of the regional at Competitive Edge that year, and I got in the video for like, half a second and it's a video of me getting a whole shot in one of my motos it's pretty cool <laughs> like i said i raced the mod class on a stock bike and you know what that means i ain't racing no stock bike at loretta's in the mod class although i probably should have and i'll tell you why because at that time one of my brother's old mechanics was working for honda of troy and their suspension was being done by PR2, which we have a great, great relationship with them. And we were able 
to get full on, not factory, but Honda Troy bikes, the bikes they were using on the team. I got one and my brother got one because at this time my brother was racing the nationals and was qualifying at Thunder Valley and stuff. So he got one and I got one. And this bike was, I think, a bit too much for a sea rider. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I ever felt fully comfortable on it, but that's okay. It was a BA bike. We still have it. Uh, it's pretty cool. I kind of want to take it out of storage and see if it's still as gnarly as I thought it was. It didn't matter because it was too gnarly for me, and yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. C-Class C Rider, fully, <laughs> fully super gnarly national mod bike. It might not have mixed that well. Anyways, we got these bikes, and then it was time for Loretta's. So we show up. We park in Hellhole 3, my dad's favorite place. We parked next to the Whit Marshes. They're a local family. Uh, I grew up racing with Trevor. He's a really good friend of mine. We parked next to him. Pretty sure he was racing the B class. And yeah, I got, I got, I actually really liked the pit. I know my dad doesn't like uh, Hellhole 3, but it was fun. I went and picked up the bib, got all the registration done, stuff that I'd never done before, and then it was time for practice. And this is when things got real, because I went out, and that was the gnarliest track I'd ever ridden in my entire life, and it was so insanely hot. And I can remember just thinking to myself, what did I get myself into? This is too much. This is too gnarly. I'm not ready for this. But, I mean, that's Loretta's, dude. It's unlike any other amateur national. There's nothing like it. It is, for those of you that have had the opportunity to race Loretta's, I will tell you that that track is as gnarly as a national track, like a pro national. It's ridiculous. I was able to get through practice, though, and then it's, it's race time. Now, you'll have to forgive me. This was 10 years ago, and I, there, I can't remember every race. Uh, I do want to start, however, with 250C Mod. And like I said, that bike, I think, was just a, a bit much for a sea rider, and it showed I got 22nd. Now, looking back, 22nd really isn't that bad. But I, was, I had some, not high expectations, but I had some expectations that I wanted to fulfill. And 22nd did not fit that at all so first moto of 250c mod not that good second moto i can remember second moto so it was a mud race and i feel loretta's you're almost guaranteed to get at least one mud race 2020 this year they got dang lucky and they didn't get one but it's kind of looking like that mud race might be the pro national i really hope not i hope it's just a normal race but we might get a mutter and that's going to be ridiculous but my second 250c mod moto was a mud moto come to find out there was an electrical problem with this bike and i ended up stalling the bike probably 10 times and i was so frustrated i was so over it that i kind of gave up and rode around the last like three laps I can remember coming off and my dad and my brother weren't the happiest learning that I, I kind of gave up at the end of the moto. So all you kids watching, don't give up. If you're not hurt and you're not just dead dog tired, don't give up. Keep going. You might upset your parents if you don't. I'm just, I would, I would suggest to not give up at the end of a moto like I did in that one. I got 33rd, not not what I wanted. That is for sure. And then the third moto, I got the exact same position, I think. Yeah, I got the exact same position as first moto, and I got 22nd again. So overall, I got 27th. Not quite what I was hoping, but like I said, looking back, it's not that bad. I made it to Loretta's, and that itself is a great accomplishment. But it's not quite where I wanted to be. However, 250 stock is a different story. For some reason, my stock bike was, it was good. I probably should have just rode that bike in both because <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, mod bike too much, whatever. Now I'm pretty sure 
my 250c stock moto one was my first moto of the week if i can remember right it was a bit of a rude awakening i had raced three times total up until that point in the past like two years the the one that i broke my thumb and then the area in the regional so i was a bit rusty and it showed and i think i was pretty tentative at the beginning i ended up getting 15th which was pretty decent my expectations or my not not my expectations my goals my goal for the week was to get top 10s so 15th was close but not quite there i wanted to get underneath that tent now second moto just like in this 250c mod the second moto is the one that i remember and the reason that i remember it is because of the heat so i could be wrong but i swear i could remember everybody was talking about the governor shutting down school after school programs and after school sports and uh, professional sports teams weren't holding their practices outside because it was just so insanely hot and i kind of want to go back and figure out what day that was go back to the historical temperatures for hurricane mills tennessee and see what the temperature was because i can remember it being so insanely hot and my moto was like one o'clock in the afternoon, I think. And guess what? I got a great start. And I had to battle with kids the whole time while being so insanely hot and so insanely tired. But it was my best moto of the week. And I got eighth. So that tent that you get to go underneath, the easy up, if you get a top 10, this the easy up that's right after the finish, I got to go underneath it. After... 10 years of watching the most BA kids ever go underneath that tent from getting a top 10 in their moto. I wanted to be under that tent. Granted, it was the C class, but I got under the tent. And honestly, it was probably the best race of my entire life. I'm just saying. I can't think of one that would be better. That race was amazing. I got eighth place. And when I go through at the end, who was in these races, you'll understand why I'm why I'm saying this, why it was one of my best races ever. But I got eighth, and it was awesome. And then the third moto didn't quite get my goal. I got a 12th, but somehow, with a 15, 8, 12 finish, three moto format at Loretta's is so weird. I got eighth overall. So my best moto finish was an eighth, and I got eighth overall. So not only did I get underneath the the easy up, the tent in one of my motos, I got to go to the awards ceremony and go up on stage and get my plaque. This thing. I got to go up on stage and get my plaque. Yeah, it was pretty dang cool. It was a pretty fun week. That white bib right there. I earned that thing. And if you're wondering, number 11 is just a, it's a very special number in my family. We've all used it in all different sports. So whenever we go to Loretta's, uh, we try to get number 11. I've got it both times. I've went, my brother's got it most of the time, but not always. Uh, yeah, 11 is just, it's just like a lucky number in our family. So if you're wondering, that's why I have number 11 from my two Loretta's experiences. So you may think that the C-class is like, I mean, it's a C-class. It doesn't stack up as like such a high achievement compared to qualifying in another class but i would say that it's still pretty dang good because if you go and look at the type of people that do the c class it's people like me in 2011 the next year i moved up to the b class and i was going to local races and i was winning by a quarter of a lap i was killing kids and i'm guessing that's the case with pretty much everybody in that class and if you look at the people that i was racing against yeah that's true so Ryan Brees was the, he was the fastest C-class rider at Loretta's. I can remember him being like really, really fast. And I was like, dude, this kid should not be in the C-class, but that's just how it is. So there's Ryan Brees. I'm sure you know who he is. There's RJ Wageman. I'm sure you know who he is. And there's fellow YouTuber Jeff Walker. I had no idea until I was going through the results looking at this that he was in my races. 
he got I think like sixth in the 250c stock. I didn't. I don't know what he did in the mod. Let me look. So Jeff got sixth in the mod class and fifth in the stock. So he did better than me, but in the stock class, not not too much. I beat him that second moto. I think he got tenth. Let me look. That second moto, he got tenth. So I beat Jeff in the first, in this in the second moto. But yeah, when you have guys like Jeremy McGrath or Jimmy Albertson winning C class at Loretta's, it's a gnarly class. Don't get me wrong, it's not like the B class. The B class, those kids that are winning the B class at Loretta's can go to a pro national and get and get top twenties. The Loretta C class is super gnarly, and you you can't dog on it. That's for sure. So yeah, that was my uh, experience at Loretta's in the C class, the the white bib. Now, I did go to Loretta's a second time, and that's the blue bib. Now it was in the A class in 2016. After 2010, I tried for Loretta's again in 2011 in the B class. And then I think I tried in 2015 in the A class. But I tried multiple times again after the C class to go to Loretta's and I didn't qualify until 2016. And that story, it's more about how I qualified for Loretta's than anything. So that's a good one. And then lastly, I just wanted to say that uh, I can't believe this, but you know my how do I have a motocross track in the middle of a neighborhood video. So I got a comment on it from somebody that lives in the neighborhood. And guess what? They don't like me. <laughs> they don't like me at all. I thought it was ridiculous that somebody actually watched that video that was from the neighborhood. And then this week, a week after he left that comment, okay, so we haven't had a cop come out or get called on us in like four years, and they're getting, we're getting calls again, and I don't know if that's a coincidence, but it kind of doesn't seem like a coincidence that I get a comment like that, and now I get cops called on me again, so I thought about replying to this guy, figured there's nothing that I could say to make him change his mind and accept me or even just like tolerate me so i just let it be i just wanted to let you know that there's somebody from the neighborhood that actually watched the video and i couldn't believe it it was <laughs> it was a shock but i just thought i'd let you guys know man loretta's is soon loretta's national i'm excited i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah I wish I could see you guys at the Nationals, but they're not letting people into the pits. So hopefully you're there cheering me on. Even if you're not, I got some names on my bike. And that's going to make me go 10 seconds faster. Each name's going to make me go a second faster. So I'm going to be doing lap times in one second. Definitely. Okay. Love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.